In this video, I want to cut and key an STL that I've downloaded from the internet. But in this case, I want to cut and key a hollow model. The challenge here is that if you cut a hollow model in half, you end up with two halves of a model with a great big hole in both sides. So the strategy here is to remove the hollowness and then we cut the model as per normal and then we cut the hollow and then we put them back together. This might sound a bit strange, but hopefully by the end of this video, it will make a little bit more sense. So here we are with the opening scene, and of course, we have to delete everything. A to highlight everything, X, delete. For this, I'll use the same model that I used in the last video, which is of a dog. But in this case, I've hollowed it out in Lychee Slicer. Now you can see here this enormous dog foot has appeared in the uh, top right of the screen, which means that the model is not around the origin. So I am now going to move the dog to the origin. So object, set origin, geometry to origin. So here we have the STL of a dog, which is hollowed out. Now you can consider the hollowed out part as a separate object. So if we turn X-ray mode on, we can see that this is a hollowed model and we're going to try and take this inside line and make it a separate object. First, we're going to go into edit mode and then we're going to see if we can find the inside faces. Now, in order to find the inside faces, it's going to be a lot easier if you have face orientation set on. And to do that, you need to go up to here and find the face orientation checkbox, this one here. Now it's most likely at this point that your dog has gone blue, which is showing the outside faces. Mine doesn't do that because I have transparency set for foreground. You can do this yourself by going into Edit, Preferences, Themes, 3D Viewport, and then scroll down to the foreground here. Click on that and this slider goes down to zero. You can see if I move it up here, it goes blue, which is probably what you have now. So what we're going to do now is to scroll into the model, into the walls and select the innermost wall. There we go. Select this with L. So you can see here, by pressing L, it is selected that entire wall. And that's the inside wall. And we're going to separate that from the rest of the dog in a moment. With that inside wall selected, we can now just press P by selection. And after a moment, we will have two objects. One is the outside and the other is the inside. It's probably worth pointing out that the inside was red because the face orientation setting sets insides to red. So let's rename the inside as inside. I am now going to add a plane and do the cut as I have done in my previous videos which have the link below. I will speed this up to make it less boring. I'll turn the inside object off here just so that it doesn't get in the way. We'll turn off but keep the plane because we'll use the same plane to cut the inside part of the model. So here we have the dog cut into two parts and you can see that it's not hollow. The hollow part was not part of the Boolean, and therefore we have a two complete parts, which I shall rename front and back. And then we're going to basically do the same operation, but with the inside of the model. A Boolean, though, will not work with the normals this way around. We'll have to 
make it look like it's a real proper model with the outside on the outside. So go into edit mode, select everything and go mesh, normals, flip. And now we have a normal model with everything the right way around but we can do the boolean with the plane again in the same way as we did for the outside of the dog. The difference being though that if we use the same plane then the model would have hollow walls except where the plane is where they would be very very thin so we will need to make a thicker plane this will give you some surface area in which to put the keying cube if you need to so here i'm just going to use the same solidify modifier but just make it a lot thicker and move it into place so now we will do the boolean operation in the same way as we did with the outside of the dog in exactly the same way. I will speed it up again. Now remember we're looking at the inside of the dog here. This will be the inside walls. So we have a thick bit and you can see how the outside overlaps the inside of the model. Now we've cut this model into two we have to separate them into separate objects. So edit mode, hover over one part, press L, P by selection. And as you can see, we have two objects now for the inside. But we have to flip the normals back in order for them to be the inside of an object. So it's exactly the same as we flipped them the first time. We have to do that on both sides. Edit mode, mesh, normals, flip. Have to select them all first. Let's do that again. Mesh, normals, flip. So here we have lovely inside of a model. So now all we really need to do is to combine the inside of the model with the outside of the model. So this is what we're going to do. Select both the inside of a part and the outside of a part and press Control J. And now I'll do it with the other part of the model. So here you can still see it looks like a normal model, but if we put the X ray on, you can see that it is still hollow. This means that you can key it in the same way as we did in the previous video, or you can add holes for resin printing, or whatever you want to do. But I won't cover that in this video. I might cover that in another. Anyway, so there you go. Thank you. Not so difficult.